same words to his son or daughter. But if they said them the way this uh, Polonius said them to his son Laertes, I can just imagine what the son of God would say. Look, I'm in a hurry. Would you ever say what you have to say and get on with it? <laughs> <laughs> so th this is what Polonius said. This is the advice Polonius gave to uh, his son Laertes. My blessing go with thee and those few precepts in thy character, in thy memory, look thou character. Give thy thoughts no tongue, nor any unproportioned thought his act. Be thou familiar, but by no means vulgar. The friends thou hast, and their adoption tried, grapple them to thy soul with hopes of steel. But do not dull thy palm with entertainment of each no hatched on fledged comrade. Beware of entrance into quarrel, but being in, bear it that the opposed may beware of thee. Give every man thine ear, but do thy voice. Take each man's censure, but reserve thy judgment. Costly thy habit, as thy purse can buy, but not expressed in fancy, rich, not gaudy, for the apparel oft proclaims the man, and they in France of the best rank and station are most select and generous chief in that. Neither a borrower nor a lender be, for loan oft loses both itself and friend, and borrowing dulls the edge of husbandry. This above all, to thine own self be true, and it must follow even as the day the night thou canst not then be false to any man. Now, I'm sure Laertes listened to that. It went in one ear and out the other. <laughs> he, he was thinking of the good times he'd have in France and felt like jumping up and shouting, let the good times roll. <laughs> look how, look, look how France, here we come. Now, my own few homespun words to the fair Fiona, lady, banished her of the day, and my grandson Paul, man of the match. <laughs> May a favourable winds bring you to and from your honeymoon destination in safety. And may the good Lord guide, guard, protect and bless you with a long loving life together, crowned with peace and happiness in your golden years. Thank <laughs> you.